so hello everyone okay so this is the first round of the second co online cockatrice dual commander tournament and I'm playing my pet deck Drana uh, no black mana sources I need to mulligan this and this is quite slow against Anafenza it's very very borderline my opponent has a mana dark I'm in big trouble yeah, but I don't think I can afford to mulligan the playable hand like this so I'm gonna keep Yeah, the, the braids is good but my opponent is playing green so it's like medium uh, I can't even cast the verdict but yeah let's keep uh, Painseer yeah on the play I don't think I want that No mana dorks, okay nice. And another color red source. So what now? I think I'm just gonna going to waste him. Confluence. Oh, now my opponent is playing dark. Okay. I guess he just top deck it. School clamp. That's nice. I'm not gonna play my fetch land because I wouldn't mind drawing one more land. Or even more than one land. We have a braids. Yeah, but school clamp, not a great card against Anafenza. And I have to say that. Uh, a lot of my creatures are tr have triggered abilities when they die, so an offense is generally quite annoying to play against. Yeah, but I'm happy as long as I'm not playing against like Uwe Geist and all that stuff. I guess my opponent will just fetch, I don't know, Savannah or Scrubland and then play Anafenza. Yeah, sure. Okay. Oh, this is awkward. Had I drawn the mox one turn earlier, I would just uh, play a land and have uh, gets verdict up. <laughs> I'm for sure I'm for sure not playing the mox because <coughs> he can have I don't know some disenchant effects. The question is whether I want to just start uh, playing some pressure with the bearer or cast the verdict. And I think I'm just gonna verdict him and then take the hit from Anafenza. And I'm playing 38 land, so I think I'm okay. Yeah, the mana dorks are really, really good. Okay. So I really need to draw a land next turn. 
And my opponent got, got me really good with that bird. And another dark, okay. Oh, Bitter Blossom, it's a very annoying card for my deck. I don't have any disenchant effect. Ah, no lands. Yeah, unfortunate. If I was playing against an another like another general, I just can skull clamp my guys and draw more cards. But with Anafenza. Yeah, I think I'm just playing the, the bearer, but yeah. Yeah, this is awkward. Bitter Blossom, really good. Of course, if I knew my opponent is going to play birds, and then I wouldn't. I wouldn't have used the wasteland, but yeah, what to do? Smox is so dead. <laughs> the worst part is that you can even play it just for free to suck it to the braids. Yeah, but I, I'm actually dead in like, I don't know, two or three turns, so it doesn't really matter at all. Yeah, losing the dice was also unfortunate. I really need to draw like land into Toxic Deluge. Yeah, my only hope is that I can somehow raise my opponent. Uh, okay. Not even discarding the mocks, how unlucky. Opponent is now probably reading Infernal Darkness. <laughs> That's why I take another four, he's pumping his guy, okay. And I can't even attack with my bearer, so land. Of course not. A dark tutelage. <laughs> yeah, I kinda wanna just concede, but yeah, let's play a few more turns. I can't even block my opponents. <coughs> my creatures can't block, <laughs> so it's like, yeah. At least it's quick, it's not like playing against uh, the blue white control when you are agonizing for like 30 minutes. You, you know that you have no chance, but your opponent is just drawing cards and doing nothing. And that's also why I chose to play a deck like Drennan. Yeah, sure. So my taking three for eight. Yeah, I think I'm just drawing one card and then conceding. Maybe if I drew spot removal for Anafenza, 
like this member would be nice then I can at least cycle the champion with school clamp so I don't know what what's what's the matter here and yeah, maybe my opponent was just lagging Yeah, my opponent is also some somehow mana screwed. Oh, so I have the removal spell, but <laughs> yeah, I'm going down to nine and I'm taking. Yeah, let's let's just pack this in. Yeah. Yeah, that was quick and painless at least. So I promise I will not become so greedy again. Uh, <laughs> resident part. Uh, you can see from from this hand that my deck has some Eldrazi team, and I don't even have the double black. But this hand is just fine. I think I'm gonna keep it. Yeah, I'm just like Inquisition and removal for Anafenza. I think that's fine. I really hope my opponent has Mana Dork or Sylvan Library or some great card to discard. Wow, what this what this card do? <laughs> okay, sweet. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely discarding elves. Okay, so nice start. Now, yeah, now we just need, need to draw some pressure. Dark Confidant of the top would be great. Uh, another removal. So I think I'm just playing port and tapping his land on upkeep. Backwalker, that's interesting. I, th I think my opponent is playing with the plus one plus one counter sub team. So, okay, no more Savannahs and planes. This is decent, okay. I'm just gonna play my Drana. And I guess my opponent is just playing out Anafenza. Maybe if, if he has removal spell. Misty, okay, so we know four of his six cards. And <coughs> in this game you can really see how important is playing first in this format. If my opponent w was uh, Okay, so he has a removal spell. If my opponent was the one who is beginning, he would just play his dork, then I would have like discarded ham hanger back and things would v will be really grim. But what to do now? Mogis Marauder, certainly for sure not the best draw. I think I'm just playing Mishra's Factory and Porting.
Interesting. Yeah, the playing Mogis Marauder doesn't accomplish anything. So yeah, let's just let's just port and kill an offense with a go for the throat. I think I'm porting the black source. I need to draw some action. Uh, I'm also playing more, more uh, mid-range version. I have like the, the the Secretion Demon, Tomb Stalker, and all that stuff. So drawing something like that would be really nice. Bloom Tender, sure. Uh, I think I'm just killing it anyway because I just want to replay Drana in my turn. Oh, D2 turn. That's sweet. Let me just look at my deck list really quick. I can tutor up uh, some enchantments. Maybe arena. Yeah, that's this seems this seems like good plan. Okay, let's go for Phyrexian Arena. Oh no 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 no. I don't have triple black. So I think I'm just replaying Drana this turn. Or I can tutor up the the worst arena, uh, the tutelage, and I need to get something going. So yeah, I'm good. Let's just let's just do that. I don't think opponent can disrupt me with what one one land. So yeah, if I have more more black sources, I can go for like Liliana and stuff. But now, yeah, I can also play like Tangle Wire, but yeah, I need need some action really. And I'll just play it and pass the turn. How many creatures I'm actually running? Thirty creatures, yeah. And I only drew one creature this game, so my opponent is probably playing like Hankerback for one and plus Anafenza. Or maybe just Hankerback for two. Oh he has Zenith for Reclamation Sage, okay. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, what can you what can I do? Sure. Hmm. So I think I'm just replaying Drana this turn, and that's all she wrote. I can also. Nah, I'm I'm not porting. Yeah, I'm just playing Drana. Maybe I, <coughs> the correct play was just to play Drella anyway, and hold up the demonic tutor. I 
But as long as my opponent does not play something awesome like Birtek Poet and Sword of Feast and Famine and all that stuff, I'm okay. Just Curse of Predation? No, Hanger Back, okay. Oh, Greyborn moves. That's awesome. So I can shoal. No, I can't shoal the Anafenza because I only have mana cost 3. So I can just downfall Anafenza, play Marauder, and attack with everything. No, oh, no, 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 no. I only have 2 black sources. Yeah, that really sucks. <laughs> so I can probably just animate my Mishra's factory. I'm, f I'm for sure killing Anafenza with downfall. Yeah, the question is what to do next. I think I'm attacking with Mishra's factory or I can also just play the Greyborn moves, but my opponent then plays Curse of Predation and I'm in bad shape. So let's go for the downfall. Even though my opponent can just replay an offense the next turn. Yeah, I think I'm just animating Mishra's Factory and attacking. So is this okay? No dismember, please. So my opponent takes it all and I'm good. Zdravíme do příbramy. Uh, Dures. Hm. Is it a good idea to just kill the Rex Sage in response? Yeah, I think it's decent. And do rest just whiffs. Yeah, we can close this, I think. And then opponent just probably replace Anafenza. Also, I didn't <coughs> put my counter on Turna despite announcing the trigger. Yeah, the hanger back might be a, an issue actually within a few turns. Maybe I should have just killed hanger back. But I think I can outrace it quite easily. Uh, the nightmare card here would be sort of feast and famine. But yeah, okay. Yeah, blood gas. Quite weak against an offensa. <laughs> so, do I want to attack with Mishra's factory and potentially trade with an offensa? I think it's not the worst idea. Okay, opponent just takes it. And I'm 
I'm just playing my Gravebore Muse and pass the turn. Yeah, Mishra's Factory, just <laughs> the, the best creature I've drawn so far in this game. Uh, if he blocks my Mishra's Factory with the Anafenza, it would uh, grow because of first strike. So it, it <coughs> so they would just trade. So as I already mentioned, I have a little bit high, higher curve in this deck, and this is what one of the best cards. I can actually have a better card advantage than the green decks with this deck. Okay, so my opponent is attacking and I don't think I'm blocking because I just want to want to attack with my Drena and let him take the damage. Uh, yeah, no blocks. So six damage. And the follow up is in it for the second time. Okay. 4 2. It's interesting. What is my opponent going for? Maybe just some value creature like Voice of Resurgence? And he still has that stupid aura. Oh, he wants to blow up his hanger back, I guess. But I have no idea why he didn't play the aura pre-combat. Maybe he has something better to play. Possibly a remove. No, no, no. He doesn't have remove a spell. It is just weird. Okay. Yeah, of course, I'm <laughs> drawing two lands. Uh, huh. So do I just... Yeah, I think I st I'm still attacking with everything. Even the Mishra's Factory. And I'm not gonna take edge him. Because he can have some nice utility lands. And if this was only a mutable, uh, <laughs> it would be extra card for my Greyborn Muse. And just attacking with everything. So is my opponent going to blow up his own hanger back walker? Oh, it's artifact. Yeah, I'm stupid. Oh my god. Uh, okay, didn't realize that. Yeah, that was unfortunate. I'm not used to play playing with Mishra's Factory, so I think I'm just playing the Bloodgast. And the yeah, MS will port my opponent on upkeep. Unfortunately, it, this is not a zombie. Okay, yeah, why not?
my opponent can draw something like Primeval Titan, so this might be a thing. I remember playing one match of Legacy with Maverick against the Tentaxis, and I had like Sigarda and five lands for like ten turns, and my opponent then decided like, yeah, it's <coughs> I don't think I'm gonna port you. It's just annoying. So I played the Sigarda and kill him. So yeah, you always port when you can. Okay. Uh, opponent probably just drew the zenith again, I don't know. I guess my opponent drew the zenith again. Yeah, he shuffled two times. So my op opponent already played the Zenith twice and then drew it again. <laughs> Why not, I guess? <laughs> it's not like he can tutor up s something to kill any of my creatures, so... But I guess he can now go for Knight of the Reliquary for Base of It or something like that. Uh, green Suns in it. It's a really strong card. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, I remember when I was playing one of Zenith in my Walaku deck, I always like search up Primeval Titan and then drew it again the next turn, so... Yeah, it's Marfis Law. It always works. So is this Zenith for 3? Oh, Braids. Little bit annoying, but I have extra lands. So it's fine for me, but yeah, it's for sure annoying with Hangerback. And my opponent is not attacking anymore, okay. Hmm. I think I'm just sacrificing the wastes and I'm not even floating any mana. Yeah, Dark Ritual, su such a great top deck in the late game. <laughs> yeah, uh, and Zombie, okay, okay, that's something. An offense is going to stifle its effect, but it could be worse for sure. So here I'm just attacking with Drana. Uh, yeah, I think my, my, my opponent would trade for sure. Here he can just end of turn, level up hanger back, then do it again and sacrifice it, but there's nothing I can do about it. So yeah, I guess I'm just attacking with Drana, playing the Augur and passing the turn. It's actually a d decent amount of damage. I open this eight life. And how do I feel about playing Dark Ritual and Tectonic Ajink? Uh, 
I don't really like it very much. Let's just keep. <coughs> Let's just stick up to the port plan. So the card advantage is real. <laughs> Yeah, of course, he's sacrificing the hanger back. I think he's going to make four top turns next turn. And he can use the Bayou to pump up his hanger back and then sacrifice it, but I don't have anything better to do. I think he's thinking about it. Okay. Yeah, drawing another piece of spot removal for the Anafenza would be quite good. Okay, sure. <coughs> So my opponent is get, getting for top turns, and I don't think he's he's still in a bad shape. I don't think he's going to attack maybe with Anafenza because he knows that I'm not gonna block, and I don't think I have any creatures in my graveyard. <laughs> okay, and how about my opponent? Oh, he has decent amount of creatures so if I manage to kill an offensa uh, then I might sack the corpse auger to the braids and I'm drawing three cards the next turn so uh, of course I'm assuming my greyborn moose is still alive I think I'm just sacrificing another land this turn for the braids It's interesting game for sure, unlike the first one. And also I don't know what is wrong with the tokens. I used to have the full token database but somehow it screwed up and I cannot see in the pictures anymore. Now it's in it for 3, okay. And this might be the Knight of the Reliquary. And I don't mind losing to Knight for sure because it's one of my uh, pet cards. I'm playing it in the modern for, I don't know. Uh, the first game I got greedy with Wasteland and then my opponent played uh, like Bitter Blossom plus Anafenza and that was basically it. Okay, going for the kitchen thing, it's just a little bit weird. So now this is a lot of cards for me. <laughs> this is just awful. Come on. <laughs> I drew all, all my worst, worst cards in my deck. At least I can run out the chroma mocks. <laughs> yeah, not not a zombie. Uh oh. This is embarrassing. Yeah, I'm for sure at mm, I don't think I'm even attacking with Drana this turn. Or yeah, I think I am. So I want to get rid of these doctors as quickly as possible. Get where Dix just gets the kitchen things of the board. <laughs> yeah, I'm attacking with Drena for sure. 
okay. Yeah, I think I'm playing Liliana and then probably just putting the Chromamox into play and sacrifice it next turn. Yeah, I can sacrifice artifact, okay. Yeah, as you can see, Anafenza is very annoying. Otherwise, I would can just <coughs> loop infinite bloodgast against this braids. Yeah, Anafenza is probably the most annoying creature that I can imagine playing against as as a commander. Uh, oh. I can. Uh, I guess it's still better than Animar, which is just the nightmare matchup. I only have one sweeper in my deck. I have Toxic Darush, and it's all. I, for sure, cannot beat Animar with this deck. Yeah. So my opponent sacrificed the kitchen things for the braids, as expected. And he might actually now play the curse and castigate. Uh, so I guess I'm just playing the dark ritual and get verdict. And Sylvan Library, the nightmare car for this deck. Uh, this is Cockatrice, it's for free. You can download it, you can just type Cockatrice into Google and you will find it for sure. So, from a box down, let's draw some cards. Oh, Profane Command, it's not bad for sure. I don't have anything to reanimate, but I can just... Oh, this is artifact, so fear doesn't work. So I think I'm just making my opponent's face for for killing the Anafenza. And now, is attacking with everything good? So my opponent has the curse, so he he can smack me back for for a nice amount of hit. But he has to jump block a lot, so I think I'm just turning and everything sideways, and he blocks like this, this. This uh, Yeah, I think I'm just attacking with er everything, including the Bloodgast and Liliana and Augur. Okay. 
So let's go to the deciding game. The betting is my opponent is playing first. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit cold the whole week. So let's hope for some juicy hand. And this is a decent hand for sure. Again, the problem is only one black source, so I <coughs> can't play my Drena unless I draw another one. I have this member into Revoker, which is okay, I guess, so I can keep this. And plus, I'm on a draw. And Mana Dork. Okay. And to be honest, I'm not gonna kill that Mana Dork, I'd rather kill Anna Fenza. Single also not bad. Yeah, I can't cast it right now, but it's good. Yeah, let's just save this dismember for Anafenza. It's kind of tempting to kill the dork, but mm. yeah, I think my opponent is just playing Anafenza. Yeah, the, there was a quite big discussion in terms of the raw power of one drops with, with combination uh, in combination with the mana cost, the three mana cost generals. Yeah, I'm just casting this member and then revoking the pilgrim. Oh, kind of age. Uh, um, I don't want to get wastelanded, so I'm just playing wastes. Yeah, let's just draw another black source, please. I'm playing like 20 basic swamps. Oh my god. Yeah, this is bad. Okay, things went from quite good to terrible. <laughs> Since this is one of the best cards against Mono Black. Toxic Deluge, this is decent, but <coughs> I'm lacking more black sources. Yeah, I think I'm just playing Carnophage. If only Card of Age was legendary, then I, I think I would select it as my general. <laughs> um, maybe the evasion of Ondrana is better. But you know, red has Zurgo and mono black has only Drana. Uh, there's also the blue black Merfor guy, but it's not so good, I think. I hope my opponent is taking some pain. When I'm playing with Sylvan Library, I'm usually quite aggressive. But I also I kept uh, three lands in my hand, and my draw steps were quite poor for me. Single hole, I can't cast it. Infernal Darkness also doesn't do anything. Okay, so my opponent is. Drawing one extra card. 
shambling Quinn, that's quite annoying. Can I just sing hold it, please? Another dork, okay. I think I'm paying one life for the Carnophage this turn. Oh my god, GTA. It's, this is terrible. <laughs> Come on, deck. Give me a, a black source. No, of course not. And I don't think I'm gonna play this this visitor. Yeah, it's quite awkward. I, I think I just need to pass the turn. Like playing Toxic Deluge seems like a waste because <coughs> because I don't have another answer for, for Alephenza. Yeah, this is unfortunate. I can possibly attack with Nexus, but it's just loose. It's not worth it. So maybe my best bet is just attacking with everything. Maybe I just attack with Carnophage and then block anyway with the Rewalker. Yeah, I kept hand with three lands and did not manage to draw a single land in my first four draw steps. It really sucks. My opponent is destroying me with a GTA. I guess it it could be worse. My opponent could also have uh, Pyrexian, uh, Miran Crusader, which is just completely absurd with GTA. Yeah, but I don't I don't feel like beating this Sylvan Library. It's not equipping. <coughs> oh, he's just attacking with Chambling Quent and equipping GTA, I guess. Okay, this is smart. Yeah, I think I just need to take it. Okay, revoke down. So now if I now if I finally drew the second black source I think I'm just sinkholing this shambling quint. I think what I can afford to pay one life once more. <coughs> oh wasteland. It's not the worst for sure. I think I'm just playing wasteland and then pass the turn. Yeah, this is awkward. So now my opponent probably can equip and attack and play Alafenza. Which is of course what I want him to do. Because of this toxic deluge. I'm not playing myself it so beating this GTA is going to be hard for sure. Yeah, but I'm playing Pitting Needle, so that's one thing. 
and I can just play something big like this smasher I think I'm just blocking at least he has to remove one counter from GTA yeah I'm just blocking and he's pumping of course He has absent charm. Okay. And I take one damage from the pilgrim. Yeah, Jitai with three counters. Really annoying. And I really needed my opponent this turn to play Anafenza so I can wrap his board. Now he can just pump for 6 and I need to pay 9 life, which is quite annoying. Let's do something good, come on. Yeah, finally, second black source. Yeah, we're just playing something like Singhole or Inferno Darkness doesn't accomplish anything. Yeah, playing Smasher is also quite bad. <laughs> How to get out of this? If I hit one more land, then I can at least play Toxic Deluge and Visitor, but my opponent is, can just equip and hit me again. Yeah, I, I guess the Visitor is dying instantly to the minus, ca minus counters. There's also this Sylvan Library. Honestly, I don't think I can ever win this game, but let's try at least. So I need to pay 9 life with this Toxic Deluge. Yeah, I steal the second game with the extra cards from uh, from the Graveborn moves. I think my best bet is just to Deluge and keep up Wasteland and then just draw enough removal spells to keep my opponent from further attacking yes it's really unfortunate Yeah, my opponent is playing really, really good in this game. I really ne needed him to be more aggressive. And now he's just flooding the board, board with more creatures.
Okay. He's down to <laughs> 16 life, but uh, he dealt himself all the damage <laughs> with Sylvan Library and City of Brass. I think he's just equipping. Yeah, okay. Another land. Yeah, it's a little bit late for this. <laughs> I can just smack him with the smasher, but he can deal, he can already deal me seven, eight, eight damage this turn. Yeah, but I just need need to be more aggressive, I guess. I think he can just safely take it, but let's see. Yeah, now I really regret wastelanding on the first turn in the first game. I mean, he can gain yeah, six life. I wonder what he's thinking about. I guess he's just pumping. Yeah, I don't think even drawing Pitting Needle uh, is gonna gonna help me in this game. So because my opponent played turn three Savannah Library, so I think he he at this time has answers for every, anything I can play. I'm just waiting for something like Sword of Fe Feast and Famine, so I can safely concede. I think actually it's just attacking every turn is enough with the GTA. Married Fiend, okay. It is discarding, it's just exiling, right? Yeah. It just doesn't matter. I think he's just taking the sinkhole. Inferno darkness, okay.
Yeah, I can finally waste Lenny's Shambling Command. Yeah, but I, I'm taking some serious damage this turn. dead next turn. My opponent just needs to farm his own black guard. And now he just knows that it's quite safe to do it. I can also just replay my or replay play my Drana for the first time in this game actually. There yeah, another land of course. Yeah, I think playing Janna is just my best bet here. And I can single one of his lands. I think the Bayou. And then if he kills my Drena and he can only deal 5 damage to me this turn. So I have one more draw. Yeah, Drana is dying. Yeah, this deck just can't beat Umeza Vesjite and Selvan Library together. I can hope that I have enough aggressive draw that I can beat Library but I cannot beat Jite. And then my opponent started with Mana Dark, then just played Anafenza and Jite and that was it. My opponent is down to 9 life without... Uh, okay, now I can safely concede. I cannot beat Armageddon in this game. So okay, so this was the first round of the Coquetry's tournament. I think that there are going to be 6 rounds, so see you just next week in the second round.